Howdy folks, just getting ready to set up some fence. Figured y'all might like to hear a little review about the fence stakes that I've come in contact with and that I use. Howdy folks, this is Tim Rankin on the Farm Tough channel. And it's time for our daily cow move. These chickens are laying like crazy right now. This is why I don't worry about weeds anymore. I'm a rental farm manager for Polyface. Been working on something today, so figured y'all might like to see it. I'm gonna start off with my favorite, the Kiwi Tech. They're modular, so there's so every piece is replaceable. You can adjust the foot pieces. They have little wedges that you drive in, so that's adjustable. You can adjust how far this white stake sticks out, and the you can add as many insulators as you want on here. So you could run fence for pigs or whatever. And these are adjustable. They have a little wedge system. The wedge goes back and forth. So they, it locks in. So you put it to where you want it, and you just give her a good tug, and it'll tighten up on whatever side. So you can push it down and it'll lock down, or you can pull it up and it'll lock up. Or if you put it in the middle, you can slide your insulator up and down. So it's, it's pretty easy to adjust once you get the hang of how to hang on to it. So I've been really happy with these. They're super tough. Um, I've never had any break. These are fiberglass stakes. You can run over with a tractor or a truck. Um, they'll pop right back up. I've seen a couple, this is just plastic here, I've seen a couple of these get a little bent, but I've never seen one break. And one of the really nice features about this is when you go to step on this, the part that's going, the main part that's going in the ground is directly underneath your boot. So you can push it into really hard ground, you can hammer on it with your heel, and it'll drive that in. If you're in soft soil, set this down a little farther so you get a good bite, but otherwise this this will hold it. So that's the pros. I, I really like these things. Very happy with them. The one con is that especially when it's dry or um, like low humidity, stuff like that, these will loosen up a little bit. And it's super annoying if you're going across the field and you pull one of these out to set your stake up and the insulator had fallen off. Um, and then that steak's no good until you get a new insulator. So they're replaceable. They just, I've just, I've lost a few, and it can be really frustrating if that happens. And you needed that steak, and now you can't use it because the insulator fell off. So that's the Kiwi Tech. This is one that I just tried recently. Um, this is the O'Brien's Tretolin, uh, recommended by Greg Judy. They look the same as the common um, co-op ones, but they're not. Don't buy the ones that look like this at the co-op. They're trash. These ones are much better plastic. They last a long time. They're way tougher. They don't break down in the sun. I like them. They're, you can't carry, well, the way I set fence up, I can carry about 40 or 50 um, Kiwi Techs. I can only carry about 20. It makes a big arm load. They're kind of awkward to pull out. And they're a little more flexible. So on a corner, if your wire's really, really pulling, it can bend this post quite far. And sometimes when I'm out, when I'm out somewhere and I don't have like a permanent fence to hang my uh, wire reel on, I'll just hang it on top of my Kiwi Tech post. Well, I did that the other day and the reel just, bent the post over over several weeks and the post ended up like that which is a testament to how strong it is but it kind of stayed like that for a while anyway this is I think this is pretty much all Greg Judy uses but he doesn't carry his stakes by hand he has them on a four-wheeler and he'll drive along and throw them off and somebody else will stick them in so for that that'd work great I really like that they have all these different spots to put wire they also had several spots to put electric um, tape, that poly tape, but I put them on my, this on my bandsaw and I cut them all off because they were kind of getting in the way and I didn't, I didn't need them. I just left the one here on the top. That's what they look like. There used to be three more on here. So I just used this side. Now, Greg Judy also runs sheep and keeps them in with single strand wire. So he can just hook one down here and good to go with the sheep um, and then he can hook one up here for the cows if he wanted to but I think he only runs one wire I've been really impressed with how these go into hard ground 
even though this isn't directly underneath where your foot is, this wire, it's not wire, that spike is so thin that it feels like you can almost shove it into concrete. And it just slips right in the ground. Because the stake is so light, it, it stays there good. Uh, and, and it's easy to pull out. If you hit like a rock, it's gonna tend to bend, but I think I would get a lot faster at putting them in once I got used to them. And I, because the Kiwi, um, Kiwi Tech stakes are a lot stiffer and I can really beat on them. These go in easy, but you're not gonna be like hammering on it with your boot. Um, just because if, if you hit a spot where it's gonna go in, it's not solid rock, it's just gonna go right in. I definitely use these for mobile pig paddocks and stuff where you don't have to carry quite as many. Um, they're just, I just don't like it quite as much as the Kiwi Tech for the long stretches of cow fence. So that's the O'Brien's treadle in. Make sure you get the real O'Brien's treadle in, not some knockoff. I found this the other day. This is a pigtail. It's just set one height um, for cows. Seems really tough. Um, it's all steel. It's steel all the way up here. They just like softened PVC or something and slipped it around. So you could really take a big stomp on this and stick it into some serious ground. And it's stiff and it's high tensile too. It's not gonna get bent and stay bent unless you like really bend it. I think Greg Judy uses these on for corners because the O'Briens aren't quite as good for corners. But my Kiwi Tech um, stakes work good for corners, so I've I haven't really used these a whole lot. I think I could probably carry them in my arm pretty good. The only thing seems to be a downside of these, well there's two things. One, you don't have any other options for height. You have one height option, which for cows it doesn't that's not that big of a problem. The other thing is is that the whole thing is conductive. So if you ever have an insulator failure, your wire is basically touching a ground rod. So you can lose your spark really good. Um, so you just gotta watch that. I don't know, I suppose they could crack if they're out in the sun a long time. I haven't I haven't had any for that long. But the thing that I would be, be most worried about, and I've seen this happen on my Kiwi Techs, but it doesn't matter because they're not conductive. That's all fiberglass and plastic. If you have this set out in your pasture with, with your poly wire running through and the cows decide something chases them in the night or something and they run through your poly wire and one of them gets caught caught in it like around their leg or something and starts dragging it it'll be like a super high speed uh chainsaw and it'll burn its way through your plastic i think we can see that a little bit on here this one you see that's kind of happened up there in the top on the top there's a little gouge in it well if that gouge would have happened here in this plastic it would almost have gone all the way through and then that would be an immediate um, short and it would ground out your system i think these are a good option and then we have a polyface rebar stake i think joel started making these probably 50 or 60 years ago all you do is buy like 3 8 rebar and cut it into four foot lengths and tighten up an insulator on it. So I've used these quite a bit. They're definitely not my favorite. Part of the problem is, is that you have no way of putting them in the ground except pounding on it with a hammer or just brute force trying to shove it in the ground, which carrying a hammer is kind of a pain. And when the ground's dry like this, you can't brute force shove it in the ground. But the other thing is, is that it's rebar, so it's really rough and you get a huge pile in your arm, and I've done this. I've had a huge pile in my arm, and it's just, they pinch your arm, and they're super heavy. Once you get like 30 in here, you can barely carry it. And it's always pinching the skin on your arm, and it's really rough when you gotta pull it out. And if you bend these things, they're gonna stay bent. And then how are you supposed to straighten it back out? You can't hardly, can't hardly get them straight again and half the time when you go to straight it just like bends back and forth on you I would definitely not start with these especially with the price of of steel going up it's almost five dollars or maybe it is five dollars a piece just buy a Kiwi Tech fence post um, the thing that I do like about them though is for semi semi permanent fences you can drive these in and they they'll just stay out there and you don't really have to worry about them. They get bent, 
by deer or something, you, you have to straighten them out. But I use them where I don't want to have to stick a wood post in. I can stick this in and pound it in and leave it and it'll be kind of permanent. And I don't have to worry about forgetting it. There's a little downside though. Like, and, well, you can replace all the insulators too, obviously. But the little downside is if, if you have a corner and your wire comes up, goes through and back that way, it's going to be pulling against this insulator. And if the insulator turns sideways, your wire is going to con could contact this and it's immediate ground. So you got to watch that. You got to put your wire in and make a corner that way. But then if something bumps it, it can come out of the insulator and then your fence goes down. So I would definitely not recommend these except for semi-permanent um, situations where you might just leave it behind and um, not worry about don't worry about having to come back and get it for a couple years. But anyway, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.